now Sharon Alfonsi on assignment for 60 Minutes. Welcome to 60 Minutes. I'm Sharon Alfonsi. Tonight I have an exclusive interview with Stephen Frankel, a father reunited with his family after spending three days in LA traffic. Stephen, a 59-year-old DMV clerk from Van Nuys, last saw his wife Margie and son Jacob the morning of September 29th before commuting to work. Little did he know he'd spend the next 72 hours of his life in his Toyota Prius fighting to get home to his family. While stuck on the 405, Stephen missed his 25th wedding anniversary, his son's recital, and his yearly performance evaluation at the DMV. When we come back, I'll speak candidly with the newly reunited Frankel family. Stephen, Margie, Jacob, thank you for joining me today. Thanks, Thanks Sharon. Sharon. Stephen, what was it like being stuck in traffic for three days? It was awful, Sharon. It's an experience I don't want to go through again. I'm just happy to be with my loving wife and my son. Do you think there's anything you could have done to prevent this? Yes. I told him to take Sepulveda that day, didn't I, Stephen? I told you. Sepulveda. He insists on taking the 405 every time. And not only did he not do the dishes, he left a container full of food in the sink. And now we have I got to celebrate our wedding anniversary by myself at the Olive Garden. Unlimited breadsticks and salad by myself. And what's with that shirt? You look like Quagmire from Family Guy. You can get me started on the yard work and the vacuuming and the taking out of the trash. Listening? Yeah. See what I mean. Jacob, how did you feel when your father missed your music recital? Doesn't matter. Steven misses everything. He's always in traffic or at work, the golf course. Did you just call your own father Steven? Yeah. I call Steven Steven. That's his name, right? He doesn't care. He's almost 30 now. Jacob, my producers, let me know that you brought a special musical instrument here today. Would you like to play something for your father? This one's called Daddy Dearest, and there's a question mark after Dearest. Daddy Dearest, why aren't you home? Whenever I call you on the phone, it goes to voicemail, voicemail. Voicemail. I am your I am a little lord of the darkness, all thanks to you. I just want to lock myself in my room. Don't care, cause you didn't care about the 9th or the 10th or the 11th or the 12th. You never came to teach your parent conferences. Seems like you just want to make money and pay the rent. Oh, you just want to make money. Daddy, daddy, I need you your voicemail. 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 Your voicemail. Hey, Steven. It's your son. Remember me? Darkness and disease, just my daddy and me. <laughs> Four years of college. Jacob. Uh, thank you for sharing. <laughs> Steven, I have a card from your coworkers at the Santa Monica DMV, and I would like to read it to our viewers, if that's okay with you. Sure, that'd be great. Dear Steven, we're glad you eventually made it home. You were dearly missed at the Santa Monica DMV. There is a stack of address renewal forms waiting for you to process. When you get back to work, we need to talk about your blurry license photos. I don't know how many times we have to tell you to ask people to stand behind the blue line and not in front. XO X. Steven! Warning. 
heavy traffic on the 405 for the next 13 miles. Oh, thank God.